What type of God do you worship? You are praying for healing. Now knowing that your God is able to heal you as he healed our Pastor Kariuki. Kariuki. Pastor Soverio from Kenya. Oh, no, Kenya. He has difficulty in sitting. You can't even see the posture in which he's sitting. I know it is passing out stool. He has a lot of pain in the anal region. Associated with bleeding. Caused by internal anal hemorrhoids. For four years. The magnum Jesus. Be healed. I'm here in Jesus' name. He is wondering how he has been healed. Watch, brethren. He's not checking himself. I am healed. The moment. The servant of God started preaching inside there. I started uh, sweating even when I seated here. And uh, I started also experiencing the pain is reducing little by little. At the moment, I've fallen down. That pain has disappeared completely. Clap for Jesus! Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. What is now sitting comfortably? I cannot feel any pain. And even before that, when I could sit down, I could hear as if I've seated on something. Because those hemorrhoids are internal hemorrhoids. And right now, my back, uh, the, uh, at, at the back, I view very right, and no pain again, in the name of Jesus. I, I want to thank the Lord. I'm a pastor. But what I've experienced, the servant of God, people do not even only need preaching, but they want to have the evidence of the gospel. And I have received it through my own healing. I've been admitted in Kenyatta, in Nairobi, and I had very many difficulties because there were men of God who were praying for me. The doctors were saying I go for operation. The men of God were telling me if you go for operation, you will not come out from that place. My wife and my children, we have struggled a lot. He's crying. Even my children cannot go to school because we have spent all what we have. Because of the evidence that Christ Jesus is hands, alive. The way the one says that when, when you reach to your end, that's the beginning of the Lord. My entire family went to reach to an end because we had no money. But God has started a new beginning. But Jesus, sir, I just want to say something you must remember. Because it was outside. This is the building. But it was somewhere here outside the building. And um, people were throwing their bottles. They were detaining the place. Yes, it is true. And you said, what should we do for these people who detain this place like this? Yes. Oh, God. I remember. You people, you must not come back here and do this. All. I said so. I remember very well. So it was since that time, it was midday. You went, you stood over there in a, a yellow, I see a yellow trouser. Like this. It is true. You want to stood there. They must go. They must leave the place. You felt something striking here. I said, hey, what is going on? You got your Bible. 
you opened the book of Luke. Very true. And you started reading. Yes. I'm Reverend Kariuki. The Reverend Kariuki. From uh, Nairobi. Good day, Nairobi. I minister in the Temple of Holiness. And uh, whatever the man of God has seen, it is true. I remember very well. Behind the window of where we stay in a civil servant estate, people are throwing the garbage besides there. So I got very curious and I asked, why are these people satisfying this place? Whereas those things are collected by the garbage collectors. The yellow trousers, I remember very well, it's the one that I had worn at that particular day. As I was standing there, I experienced pain. And the moment I experienced the pain, I never told anyone, but I went and took the Bible and it started reading from the book of Rook. And from there, since that time, I started experiencing now that pain. It continued, it continued. I went to many hospitals. This is what befell you. And uh, people are trying to throw you stone. Yes. And you say, who are these troubling me? Yes. And they say, yes. Death must be there. And you could look over there after the trees. You could see the burial place. Yes. And you say, hey, I don't want to reach the burial place. I don't have anything to do with the burial place. So your enemies, they were ready to see you at the death point. Yes, it is true. I remember very well and even those the, the stones were, they were thrown to our house because even my wife couldn't get annoyed because we are sitting in the house around the nine but people are throwing the stones. So I also could come out and ask what is happening after the trees that area, the burial place, I can see it very well. But you could not see anyone who was throwing the stones and even the, the particular area. Now go to the toilet. Come back and give your testimony. My name is Pastor Saverio Kariuki from Kenya. And I came in this place with a problem of internal hemorrhoids. Uh, I had internal breathing and even a problem of sitting down. And the moment uh, uh, the servant of God gave me the revelation of what had happened, I experienced no pain again. And also, I got healed. And I thank God for that. The moment I went for checkup, to see whether for a wrong call, whether I can breed. So there was no breeding, not even, even a drop. So I thank God for healing me. This is the evidence of the life of Christ Jesus but, in our prayer. The presence of Jesus in our prayers. He is worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be called because he will save you. He will heal you as he healed them. He is worthy to be consulted because he knew the, and he knows the cause of your problem and how to solve it. When it came, the yellow trousers Mr. Kariyoki was putting on. What he said, what happened. And the book of Luke he read. The God who is worthy to be praised. The God who is worthy to be called. The God who is worthy to be consulted. To God be the glory. Father, we love you. The Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, we love you. The Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for loving us and dying for us on the cross of Calvary. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit.